The men's hockey team opens the second half of the season by hosting Ohio State at the Kohl Center this weekend. Both Friday and Saturday's games will start at 7 p.m. Head coach Mike Eves is here and will take questions. A little late, but here. Andy, do I look taller sitting here? Andy. Mike, Ohio State comes in here 5-11, and 11, but might be one of the more dangerous teams in the country given its most recent experience. What, is, what stands out to you, what, what you've seen from them on tape, and what makes them a, a team that you're going to really have to be prepared for this very, weekend? Very opportunistic team. Uh, if, if you play sloppy, if you give them chances, they have the skill and the wherewithal to put the puck in the net. And uh, we know their goaltender has come in here when we thought we've played well in, in stolen games. So. Uh, you look at their record, you got to go, mm, what's going on there? But, you know, we watched the Minnesota games. They could have won both those games. They went into overtime. Uh, they just beat two, two ranked teams. Uh, so they, if you play sloppy against them, they, they have the wherewithal to, to, to make you pay for that. So we're going to have to uh, play hard and, and, and take care of the puck. What's a, you have a rather lengthy health list. Where are your guys at, with regards to Cameron, with regards to... Um, well, Cameron's Luke? back in here this week, and uh, Luke's back in here, and uh, uh, we still are a little cautious here with uh, uh, Adam, but uh, we're hoping that as the week goes on, we know more about that. Excuse me? Uh, Tischke uh, is, uh, he's healthy, and uh, you know him and, him and Bunner are going to be battling out for that sixth spot. you take out of Friday's exhibition game, Mike? Very beneficial. I, I, you just, you know, if you, if you take a look at what our options are, do we have a red-white scrimmage? Uh, do you, you, but this, this game that we had against T Trinity Western was kind of in, that in-between. It was, we talked about this after the game, Brian, is fact that we're playing another opponent. We get to be on the Cole Center, which was huge, you get back to the big ice. And, uh, and having referees and the pressure of the game, it, it, I think it was the best medicine for us. And then we got the next day to go out and work at things that we didn't do well and, and uh, work at things that we needed to. So I think it was very beneficial. You view this stretch uh, the next six weeks as a pivotal portion of your season, being at home as you are? We have an opportunity to make hay here. You know, when the, we're in our own barn. And uh, you know, this, this week here is huge because we get to practice in the coal center all week. And uh, I think that that'll help us set ourselves up for playing at home a lot. That's the goal. So yeah, it, it's an opportunity us for, for us to make some hay here. And um, we saw some things in the first half that we like, and this is now we got to build on those things and being able to do it in our own rink and not travel as much as that opportunity. So that's our push here. Mike, you, looking at the numbers, you can make a case that your offense was ahead of your defense in terms of development during the first half. Has the defense caught up yet, or is, that, is there still a gap? And how big is that gap? It's still a work in progress. I, I think that the two areas that come to mind are our line rush against and our defensive zone coverage. I, um, I think that we're, that part of the growth has is, is, is been slower because I think it's a, implementing a little bit of a newer system, a different system than what we played here last year with a lot of young guys, a young goaltender. So I think the growth is going to be naturally slower. But there is growth there, and we just, it's interesting you bring this up. I mean, today our, our, our total focus and practice is line rush against. Let's, let's get, make sure that we are getting together in terms of what our reads are and, and, and hammering down the details in that. Mike, do you think with the improved play of your special teams and the offense at times showing its flair, shoring up the defense, could possibly lead you to uh, some special things in the Big Ten Conference? Well, I think it will lead us to some more victories for sure. I think that uh, the offense that you speak upon is our, we, we have a higher level of just ability and that transitions itself into making better plays at those moments of truth with the puck, something that we didn't have to the same level last year. But we have that it, and it shows in our specialty teams. Um, so if we can continue to have that that flair show itself and we, we hone up the other side of our play without the puck, then I think that's going to come up. What we'll see is more victories. Andy. 
Mike, a common theme for your team through the first half was just that inability to you have a lead and you yeah. you can't hang on to it. Is that the number one thing, the, the number one lesson you want them to carry through into the second half? Or is there another the one that stands? We, we out? talked about that openly as a, with our leadership core, and I and I think it's just. We don't want them to think about it and double clutch and kind of grab their stick harder. I think it's just keep playing the same way. So I think that's uh, that's one of the lessons that we hope that we learn from the first half. And that's part of our, our growth as a, as a youthful team. And if that growth can happen, then I think that will benefit us and, 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 and turn into more victories for us. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.